a little more time. But I'm ready for this week. As ready as we'll be. Everyone else has done all the work. I just show up. So Talk about first impressions tonight. Oh, it was good. A lot of a lot of skill, obviously. Some good size. I thought some of the D-men were real good, moving the puck, had good feet, and uh, um, you know, I thought it was impressive. I thought uh, for a group that has never done anything together, basically, it got well. And, uh, I was impressed. Pace was good, you know, for this time of year. I don't know how much you know, on ice they've done. You know, a lot of guys are in different stages of the development or more in the off season lifting weights and doing other things. So I thought they battled through it and uh, did a good job. What do you think it says to the players when the coach is coming off the ice and got enough of a beat of sweat just as much as they are? And right in it, stick tapping, motivating guys. I mean, how helpful is that for you as a coach and for them to see that? Well, you know what, it's just being part of the practice, being engaged, being uh, fully involved in what you're doing. That's the way we do it. And Roddy's going to be the same way, Smitty's the same way. And there'll be a lot of energy and up tempo, and there'll be a lot, of, a lot of fun. We're looking forward to the year. We're excited. Coach, what are you looking for these kids to get out of the week? Well, you know what, they, they, they're going to learn how to work. Uh, they're going to learn that we're going to come in and we're going to do things right. We're going to do things with pace. We're going to have some details to what we do in the drills. I'm only going to stay out on the ice 20, 25, maybe 30 minutes. I doubt it, 25 minutes a day. And uh, and then Stiller and, and Wes and those guys are going to do good things with them, individual skill, one-on-one and, and stuff like that. So they get a good foundation of what we're all about as an organization, but they also learn from Pete Friesen and some of the nutritional stuff they'll go through. So if you're paying attention and want to get better, this is a good week to do that. How's it been for you getting that chance to step on the ice for the first time with this organization, so to speak? No, it's good. I was looking forward to this week. Uh, you know, I, once we knew I was going to come down for this week, it worked out good for uh, personal reasons to to finalize some things with the housing and everything else. My daughter gets to go to her school and write an exam tomorrow of some sort. My little guy's going to take part in the hockey school, so it's a good week for us as a family and good to, to get on the ice and spend some time with the coaches, too. Can you talk a little bit about your staff? I know you kind of assembled yeah. the guys you want to just... Oh, I mean, I'm excited about our staff. Obviously, I knew Roddy was going to be a part of it right from day one, and uh, he, he's uh, he's going to bring a lot to the table. Steve Smith is a guy I've known for six years, going back to our days together in the Chicago Blackhawk organization, and Smitty's exactly what I felt we needed, a guy with pro experience. He's, he's ran the bench at the NHL level, and he was in charge of the penalty kill, so that's what he's going to do for us here in Carolina. Roddy and I will look after the power play, more so Roddy, but I'll have a little bit of input there. And then we ended up hiring David Marcu, who's a highly respected guy in the industry for our goalie coach. So I really like our staff, and we really won't get together as a complete staff till September 1st, but uh, there's communication on the phone all the time, and, and uh, it's exciting. How about Hayden Fleury today? Was, I know you obviously want to see your first round draft pick. Oh, he's smooth, right? Very poised, very good feet. And the, the ice was bad by the end. We got it up pretty good and hadn't been skated on much, so the ice isn't very mature. but. Uh, a very smooth player, and uh, I thought he had a good Talk a little bit about Brock again. He's got some experience coming in, and he's got some eyes on, on trying to yeah. do something. Yeah, for sure he should. He should be trying to come in here and make our hockey team. That's what I'd try and do if I was him. And I, I noticed him today. He has real good skill and tight and good hands, and uh, he was noticeable for sure. And uh, and I know he plays the game hard. I, I know his reputation. Uh, coaches in the Ontario League speak highly of him. He's a competitive player, and that's what we want here in Carolina as kids who players who compete. Well, it's going to be harder for a D-man than it is uh, forward. Uh, we're not going to be in any hurry. We'll, we'll see how it goes here, you know, not only here, but then in uh, Traverse City at the Prospect Tournament and see how he plays there and just go step by step. We're not going to get ahead of ourselves as an organization, myself as a coach. And I, I think he's a mature enough young man, too, that he knows it's a process. So he's in the early stages of that process of developing from a junior age player into a pro. So he's got, he's got some work to do. You know, one thing that's happened since you press conference is bringing back Tim Police and signing Grayson. Just talk about adding well, you never have enough D-men in this league. I know that for a fact, and uh, he's a guy who's familiar with the organization. We know what Tim Gleason's all about. He's a hard-nosed guy, and uh, he was excellent. I talked to him on the phone last week, and he's excited about coming back here. I thought he played real well when he first got to Toronto, and then after that, we didn't play him again as an organization in Detroit, so I, I didn't have a chance to see him. But he, he adds a special component. And he's a hard guy to play against. He's gritty, veteran leadership, and I think he's going to be good for our young D. And uh, obviously on goaltending goal ten front, um, you're one down for this prospect camp, a young guy. Uh, talk about that, but then you also have Altshore, who's 
he's taken some time and, and he's got some size and yeah. your initial read on, on him. Well, the poor guy got lit up a couple times in the, the up high. I don't mean yeah. by goal, but he got hit hard a couple times every night, so I felt bad for him. Yeah, that didn't look good. So uh, you know, that's part of the part of the position, though, too. So he's a guy. He's a big guy with goaltenders. Again, you know, he might take a while. Goaltenders take even longer. If you can let him develop properly over time, you're going to have a good prospect at the end of the day. But he's a good goaltender. He's got the size. Uh, we'll know more. When we go to Traverse City and we get to work with our goalie coach and get get into some games, it's tough to get a read on a guy in this situation when the you know players are shooting for hash marks and type of thing. And so you bring in a new coach, a goalie coach, and you know there's two veterans that on the team. What what does that role fill at the at that level with goaltenders like? Well, you know, I had a really good, honest conversation with Cam when I first got the job, and he wants to get back to the level he was at, you know, three, four years ago. He knows he's got a lot of good hockey ahead of him, and we got to get him playing the game the way he's capable of, and a lot of that is technical. So Dave will come in and work with him on the technical no. aspect and, and be there as a mentor for him, and not only him, but also Anton. And I expect to have a very good tandem. Both guys will, will get to play, and both guys will be ready when they are called upon and, and play well.